Right, so carving a pumpkin, it can't be that hard now, can it? Well, you're quite right, because we already set up the scene for you guys, and we even added, uh, let me show the overlays, a little tool. It is not really a tool, but just a little helpful thing that you can use to do so. Right, so let me go to a solid view and just start off by explaining a little bit about how we're going to approach this. Right, so removing things, creating holes in Blender, the easiest or the most straightforward way to do so is by using booleans, right? And the geometry may not always be perfect afterwards, but if we just want to do it for visuals or for fun things and the easiest way possible, then booleans work perfect, right? So uh, let's start off by adding a little plane, shift A mesh plane. And we are going to use this plane to create uh, the shape that we want to carve out of the pumpkin, right? This is going to be our boolean shape. So I'm going to rotate this R Y 90. There we go. Let me turn this on real quick. And we're going to shape this into whatever we want this to be that is going to be removed from the pumpkin, right? So let's say we want this to be two eyes and a mouth, right? I'm going to keep this very simple for this tutorial, but we can just add a modifier, a subdivision and set this to three, right? Now we have a beautiful eye round and beautiful. There we go. Now I want a second eye. So I'm going to go into edit mode, shift D and Y and move this to the side, right? There we go. Now I also want a mouth, right? So any type of mouth will do. I'm not going to keep this as a simple sphere or simple circle because that will be a little bit boring, right? But what I'm going to do is scale this up in a Y direction and I'm going to press Ctrl R to add an edge loop there. And I'm going to select the sides, so the sides two bottom vertices. And I'm going to press GZ and move that up. So we get quite something like a smiley face, right? So I'm going to press Ctrl R there and once again there and then once there. And I'm going to swipe one more edge loop there and one more there. Reason why is because if I select this top vertex now and move this down, GG, we can see that we're creating a little bit of an indent for a teeth, right? because this is going to be carved out. So this is going to look like a teeth, right? So I want this to be on the other side as well. And I'm not going to do the same steps that I just did. What I'm going to do instead is go to edit mode, select this middle edge, shift S cursor to select it, go out of edit mode, right mouse, set origin to 3D cursor. Now let's go and delete the right side of our mouth. Let's go to mirror fires and mirror and add this in front of the subdivision. And let's set this to Y instead of X. There we go, right? So now it's also mirroring the eye, by the way. So let's go into edit mode and just delete this part of the eye. There we go. And now let's move the entire mouth down just a little bit. There we go, beautiful. So the reason I made this cylinder, by the way, is for two reasons. One, for a shrink wrap, so we can shrink wrap this on later. And two, to show you pretty much the bounds of in which I'd recommend you to stay with the carving shapes, right? So I'm not going to go outside of that shape. So I'm going to stay inside. So now we have two of these tusks coming from the top, and I think that looks quite nice, right? So I'm going to apply everything here, Control A, and in edit mode, we can see that we're very far away from our pumpkin. So let's move this a bit closer. I'm going to move it just outside of this cylinder, right? And we're going to use this as a shrink wrap on top of our actual shrink wrap cylinder. Right, so that is the only reason I added this with, together with the bounce, of course, is so we can shrink wrap our shape onto something that already has the shape of the pumpkin, right? The nice curvature. Right, so to do so, I'm going to select it and I'm going to hit add modifier, shrink wrap, and I'm going to set this to project and I'm going to enable negative as well. And then the target is going to be that shrink wrap object. There we go. Right mouse, shade out of smooth. Beautiful. This is the shape that we're going to be using. All right. So what you have to know about booleans is that they are very unpredictable, right? So there is no real way of telling if your boolean is going to work or not. It is pretty much magic. One time it works perfectly fine. The other time you may need to tweak a little bit. But what I try to do pretty much every time, if I have multiple objects that I want to carve out, I will try to first do it as one object, right? So what I will do is apply this, press tab, A, and I'm gonna extrude this out. There we go, Alt Z, and I'm gonna scale this down a little bit. Right, so now we have a shape that is 
through it completely through this outer part of the pumpkin at least right so that is nice and if i now go and select my pumpkin there's already a boolean set up for you guys and we can just select the object that we just created which is the plane i guess is what it's called and now we can hide that object and we can see if it worked and there we go it exactly worked the way i hoped it would right so if we go to render view now You'll be able to see that we now have a carved pumpkin, right? With the shape that we just created. Beautiful, right? So that is the, well, pretty much the, the hope that you have when you do the boolean. But it won't always work this way, right? And if it doesn't work the way you intended it to work, right? For example, if only one of these parts is being accepted by the boolean, right? If only one of those is being turned into an actual hole, then what we can do is just split everything up, right? So press A, P, and just separate this by loose parts, right? And in that case, we can go back to the pumpkin and we can just add two more Boolean modifiers, right? Depending on how many objects you have that you want carved and just add another Boolean and another Boolean and just select every object there and there. And I'm guessing this one has to be the mouth there we go all right so just make sure that they are all set to difference and fast that is the thing that works most of the time is the fast solver and then we can just select all of them and hide them it has the same results but it will work more times when you have them separated and if it doesn't work for example this eye doesn't work then just move it around a little bit and we can even just go into the object settings, go to the viewport display and set the display type to be bound or let's do wired. And now you can see exactly when it does work and when it doesn't work, right? So mine works quite well, um, not always. You can see sometimes it doesn't work perfect. Um, but you know, you can swipe this, move this around and sometimes a little tweak may work out right then this is going to be your final shape and if we move this around a little bit you can see there's even a little can on the inside that is lining up our scene beautifully right so that is the easiest way to carve a pumpkin okay so go nuts with the shapes add some eyebrows add some scars add some crazy stuff all right there's no reason to get limited by only cylinders for eyes and well something easy for a mouth as well you can go crazy with it right just remember that if you boolean it and extrude it it has to be completely through the mesh and make some tweaks if it doesn't work okay and um, so i hope you get the results you want i'm looking forward to seeing all of your scary pumpkins happy pumpkins cute pumpkins whatever you want it to be add a little scene next to it as well create something beautiful with it and good luck happy halloween